This is Anjum Turabi. And today I'm going to show you how to construct a Turing machine for the language L equals to A power N, B power N for where N is greater than or equal to 1. So for constructing a Turing machine, let us construct an input tape first for the string A power N, B power N. And I write delta as uh, the blank character. And then I start with the string that is A power N, B power N. Therefore, I write equal number of A's and equal number of B's. I'll go with A, A, A. And then B, B, B. And then delta character that is the blank character as delta. You can give as B or F as your blank character. So here N is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, my header that is the doing machine have a header which is a read header and as well as the write header which can read and write so there is n n is greater than or equal to one so i'll start with the a first a and i'll start constructing a turing machine with q naught as the initial state or the start state so the turing machine will start from here So first I need to process A, then B, the corresponding B. So to know that I have processed A, I replace with replace this A with X. And then the corresponding B I replace with Y after processing. So to process A, I'll construct the transition state from Q0 that is Q1. And I'll say that whenever it the Turing machine sees A, it should replace it with X and the header should move right. That is, R is representing right movement and L will be representing left movement of the header. So from Q1, from Q0 to Q1, the machine is saying wherever there is A, replace it with X. That is, if it sees A, replace it with X and move right. Now here there is A, I replace it with X and the header will move to right. And here I'll give wherever there is A, replace it with A itself and move right. Because I don't need to process this A because I have to first process the corresponding B for this A. Therefore, I replace A with A itself and move right. Again, the header will move to right and again it will see A. And according to the machine, A will be replaced with A and it, the header will move right. Okay, the header will be moved to the right. And now it's seen B. I have to process B, so I replace it with Y. Therefore, I'll have another transition state as Q2. Now, whenever it should see B, it should replace it with Y. And the header should move left now because B is processed. And it's replaced with Y. And now again, I have to replace, I have to process the corresponding A for the next B. Therefore, I'll go back. That is, the header will move to left according to this. And now, in this, wherever it should see A, I replace it with A and move left. Because I have to process, I have to come till, uh, you know, X. That is, we'll know that this A is processed and I'll process the next A to the X. So, again, the header will move to left. It's seeing A and the machine will see. A is replaced with A and move to left. Again, A is replaced with A and the, mach and the header will move to left. And now here there is X. After, I need to process X. I need to process, uh, this A is processed. Therefore, I'll move to right. That is A to process. So I'll go back from Q2 to Q0 state to again start the process. So whenever you should see X, it should it should be replaced with X and move right. That is X is already processed, so I'll replace it with X itself. Therefore the header will move to right now. Now it's seeing A. So wherever there is A, replace it with X and move right. So A will be replaced with X and the header will move to right. And now A is replaced with A itself and moving right. So A is replaced with A itself and moving right. That is Y. Now here is the condition. It's seeing Y now. Because Y 
is the already processed B. Therefore, I'll write Y whenever it sees, it sees Y should be replaced with Y itself and move right. Therefore, Y is replaced with Y itself and the header will move to right. That is B now. So, B will be replaced with Y to process it and the header will move to left. So, B is replaced with Y and the header will move to left. That is Y. And now, here is the condition that it's seeing Y and Y is already processed B. Therefore, Y will be replaced with Y and uh, move left. Therefore, Y will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. Now it's saying A. A will be replaced with A itself and the header will move to left. Therefore, header is moving to left. Now it's saying X. X is replaced with X and the header will move to right. Therefore, X will be replaced with X itself and the header will move to right. Now again, it's saying A. A will be replaced with X and it will move to right. So A will be replaced with X and the header will move right. And now there is a Y. Y will be replaced with Y itself and moving right. Therefore, the header moves right. And again, there is a Y. Y will be replaced with Y and the header will move to right. So therefore, Y will be replaced with Y and the header will move to right. That is, it's seeing B now. So, B will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. B will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. Now, it's seeing Y. Y will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. Again, Y will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. Now, here it is X. Therefore, X will be replaced with X and the header will move to right. X will be replaced with X only, X itself, and the header will move to right. Now, it is Y. So, whenever I'm seeing y after x that means all a's and all y all b's are processed therefore here i'll give a transition state q3 that whenever the machine should um, whenever the machine will see y after x that is here it should be replaced with y itself because it is already processed b and move right and here also whenever it should it, it will see y it will replace with y itself and, the, and uh, the header will move to right. So here, A is seeing Y. It will be replaced with Y itself and the header will move to right. Y will be replaced with Y itself again. And the header will move to right. Again, Y will be replaced with Y itself and the header will move to right. And now it's seeing delta. Now whenever there is delta, that is the blank character, it should halt. Therefore, I'll give the halt state or the final state as QF or halt state. That is, whenever it is seeing the blank state, delta will be replaced with delta and move to, the header will move to right or left because it doesn't matter here. You can give either L or R here. Okay, the, the character will be replaced with del and the header will move to right or left. Okay, um, with this diagram, I'm moving right. And, and this character will be given to halt state. So this is our Turing machine. With this machine, all A's and all B's will be processed. As you can see, all A's and all B's are processed and they are replaced with X and Y respectively. And now we'll construct a transition table for this particular Turing machine. So we'll draw columns and rows. Here we'll give all the characters which is in tape that is a the string in the string there is a and b and what we i have replaced a and b that is x and y i've replaced a and b with x and y and there is a delta that is the blank character in the tape and here I'll write the states that is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and QF. That is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and QF. So I'll fill this column with q0 to a that is q0 to a 
what the transition state I have taken and what the character I have replaced with and the movement that is Q0 to A of the transition state Q1 and X comma R. So I will write Q1 comma X comma R. Now Q0 to B. Q0 to B there is nothing therefore a hyphen that representing nothing. Uh, Q0 to X. Q0 to X there is nothing therefore nothing. Q0 to Y. Q0 to Y there is thing. Q0 to Y I am moving to Q3 state. Therefore Q3 comma Y comma R. Therefore Q3 comma Y comma R. And Q0 to Delta there is nothing. So nothing. And Q1 to A. Q1 to A as there is there is Q1 itself. So Q1 comma A comma R. Therefore Q1 comma A comma R. Now Q1 to B. Q1 to B there is one transition state that is Q2. Therefore I write Q2 comma Y comma L. That is Q2 comma Y comma L. And Q1 to X. Q1 to X there is nothing. Therefore nothing. Q1 to Y. There is Q1 itself. Therefore Q1 comma Y comma R. Q1 comma Y comma R. And Q1 to delta, there is nothing, therefore nothing. And here Q2 to A. Q2 to A, Q2 itself is there. So Q2 comma A comma L. Q2 comma A comma L. Q2 to B, there is nothing, therefore nothing. Q2 to X, yes, there is one thing, therefore Q, Q0. From Q2 to X, there is Q2 to Q0, there is a transition state, therefore Q0 comma X comma R. So Q0 comma X comma R Q2 to Y Yes there is Q2 to Y that is Q2 comma Y comma L Q2 comma Y comma L Q2 to, de to Delta there is nothing therefore nothing Now Q3 to A Q3 to A there is nothing Q3 to B there is nothing Q3 to X there is nothing Q3 to Y S there is that is Q3 itself Therefore Q3 comma Y comma R. Therefore Q3 comma Y comma R. And Q3 to delta, yes there is. That is Q3 that is QF, that is half state. QF comma del comma R. Therefore QF comma del comma R. Or L you can give anything. And QF is there. From QF there is nothing therefore all will be dashed okay sorry so this is our transition table for turing machine this particular turing machine where l equals to a power n b power n and now let us see the moves made by the turing machine for the string a a b b that is a power n b power n so i write a a b b that is our string so the header will be here on a first that is n is greater than or equal to one therefore a the header will be a on a and a will be replaced with x and the header will move to right as a turing machine says right therefore Everything will be same except this and here the header will be now and A will be replaced with A itself and the header will move to right therefore X A B B and the header will be here. Now B will whenever it says B B that is the first B will be replaced with Y therefore X A replacing B to Y and B the header moves to right and now X A Y B after B it has to replace uh, you know the corresponding A therefore it will move back that is moving left therefore the header will move to left now here Y will be replaced with Y itself and the header will move to left again the header will move to left that is X will be replaced with X itself and the header will move to right and now A will be replaced with X, that is X, X and Y, B. The header will move to right. Y will be replaced with Y itself because it's already processed B. And the header will move to right. Now, this B will be replaced with Y and the header will move to left. Right, therefore, the header will be here. 
then again here, again here, the same thing. The, this y will be replaced with y, x will be replaced with x, and then again header will come back to y. That is, uh, y will be replaced with y, and the header will move to r right, y will be replaced with y, and now when it sees delta, after write delta here for representing blank character. Okay. Now when the header moves to right, del will be represent del will be will be replaced with del and it will be halted. Therefore, the this delta will go to halt state. And this is how a Turing machine works. Thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoy learning, please like the video, do comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to share. Thank you.